Welcome to Relentless Laboratory. Today is T minus two days. We're here with Neil. Neil, what's going on, man? Not much, how you doing? Good. Welcome to Relentless. How you feeling? Excited. Yeah? Ready to do big things? I am. So, you know, this is our chance to blow the doors off of the transformation and show you what's going on in here. So Neil, maybe talk to us a little bit about your day to day and you know, what's going on and what's the context of your transformation? Uh, oh, well, my day to day is mostly spent at school. Um, I wake up at around nine o'clock. I go to class until usually about two or three, come back, sit down, do absolutely nothing. I pretty much just stare at the TV or play video games until like six. Then I eat, then I sit down some more until about 10 and then I actually decided to study at about 10. So let's, th let's talk about lifestyle, right? We have some pros and we have some cons. It sounds to me like one pro is you might have more time on your hands than somebody else. You might, you might have dead time where whether it's working out or um, you know, paying extra attention to a lifestyle factor, you have the time for that. Uh, the con is you might not be in as health, healthy, uh, you know, vibrant of a section of the city. Okay. What else do you see? You can't walk two blocks in the wrong direction. So you're, you're pretty much confined to this tiny little area. There's a lot of just dead weight that you, you just kind of have to just sit through, really. And you spend most of that time either studying or watching TV or snacking. After after dark, when you are pretty much confined to a space with, with your friends around, do you see that as ever being an issue? Do you think you'll have to exert um, more self-restraint. Self-restraint, exert more uh, will. Well, it is a college campus, so of course you're gonna expect lots and lots of binge drinking, yep. right, every weekend. Um, in terms of discipline with that, I don't really, I might drink maybe once or twice a month, but I don't really drink all that much. So the peer pressure to me, in that respect, isn't going to be much of a, a determining factor. Like it, it's always something that you can just kind of brush aside. I don't really, you know, I don't feel peer pressured by my friends or anything like that, so. So with this live aspect of this transformation, this relentless laboratory experiment, Neil, what do you think? Do you think this benefits us or detracts? I think it's pretty much an entire benefit. Um, having people watch you and see that you're doing something is, it puts a lot of pressure on you to be as close to perfect as you possibly can. Um, I think that's one of the main key draw points for me that I have to be perfect all the time. I can't slip up because if I slip up, everyone sees. Yeah. So you ready for this? Ready for it? Blowing the doors off, showing everyone what goes on, a window into Neil's life and Neil's eight week transformation. Ready? Yeah. Be, a, right. be a different man with each week, you know, running up until that eighth week when we hopefully shatter, shatter all of your goals. Yeah, definitely looking forward to it. All right, let's do this.